All right, hello everybody. This is TFF the Frank Fryer here reporting you all from the hospital here in Manhattan. I just want to do a quick little live video because um, I didn't get a regular one up on Thursday. Um, I have a, my second surgery here in about four hours. They're going to take me down at two. It's at three um, Eastern Standard Time, so New York City time, uh, et cetera. There, little sorry, my beard looks a little funky this morning. Obviously, it's hard to keep a little keep clean here in the hospital but um sorry i had one surgery uh so they finished the amputation which they call a revision on uh, this particular cut this particular amputation this afternoon uh, and then i'll go hopefully after a couple days of recovery here make sure there's no bleeding issues etc i'll go to rehab um at mary manning walsh which is a great place run by the carmelite sisters of the asian affirmed a group i've worked with for years and in my province of carmelite friars and them have been very close i hope this video is good it's a live first time i've done live stream sort of from my phone and uh, I've been stewing, obviously, because I have that sort of time on lots of things. And uh, I'm finally getting caught up on some of my devotionals and, and things like that that I incorporate through my day, particularly during Lent, uh, for spiritual nourishment, more reflection, and etc. And uh, one of the, the books, and I put up a picture that uh, I've been committed to for years now, is Divine Intimacy by Father Gabriel of St. Mary uh, Magdalene. Discalced Carmelite Friar. And this year, I think the, the calendar sort of matches up with the calendar in the book. This is based on the calendar of the uh, pre Vatican II times. Uh, so it always isn't one for one, but uh, I've been going through the section on uh, humility, you know, the, the that aspect, uh, and etc. So if I'm off by a week, uh, please forgive me. But the way this text is structured, it gives sort of a, a presence of God, like a, a little one-line or two-line thing to commit to memory to carry throughout the day. And then he has like two-part meditation that focuses on different things in relationship to the topic at hand and the years broken down in topics at hand. Um, I believe this is the one I'm going to be reading from is from the second week of Lent. But um, um, this particular part is on uh, humility and... and the last part is a colloquy, which is a, you know, sort of he brings about insights from saints or even his own insights. And sometimes they, they take the form of a prayer. And there's a, in the day of humility, um, his ending colloquy has a, a very profound prayer I wanted to share with you all. And then maybe give some thoughts about uh, for your own benefit and nourishment and, and et cetera. Sorry if I'm a little off the mark here, you know, with pain medication and, you know, I've got a beautiful view and etc but um you know my mind's in a lot of different places so <laughs> so i'm just going to read you this paragraph and this is from uh part 110 i think it's just called humiliations you know um, a word that i know at least in the english language and in the united states we don't particularly like but you know we need not be afraid of you know humiliations are part of growing in a life of humility pride being one of the biggest struggles that one faces during their spiritual journey here on this earth and this is the ending paragraph, and Father Gabriel, and these are his own words, writes, I do not ask you for particular humiliations, but I do ask you to dispose my heart to accept those which, in your infinite love and mercy, you have prepared for me from all eternity. In them I see your remedy adapted to my pride. If up to the present I have often refused to taste it, Help me now not to lose the smallest drop of it. I am ill, O oh Lord, and like the patient who wants the medicine which will cure him and who swallows it, bitter though it may be, I too, with the help of your grace, wish to accept and to drink to the very dredges every humiliation. But help me, O oh sweet Jesus, you who will to know every form of abasement for within you I shall only fail in my good resolutions oh well without you I shall only fail in my good resolutions sorry and um, you know and within that section even though it sounds like he praises humiliations it's the disposition the willingness to accept humiliations when they come along you know humiliation is in and of themselves is, is not necessarily a good thing um and i mean we can ourselves bring about our own humiliation some people might bring them upon us because they want to knock us down a peg or they want something from us or there's a movement of, of vanity and, and, and envy in someone's heart and, and all these sort of things but the disposition the willingness to accept humiliations when they come because in the embasement of humiliations we are reminded of our nothingness which is not something we're overly comfortable with we came out of nothing 
We were created out of nothing. And we must always remember that because out of that nothingness, God brought us forward in love. So without him, there's the, we, we have nothing. We are nothing. And humility reminds us of that. And humiliation cuts through the, the hard exterior of pride that closes us off from this reality that we arose, we came out of a nothingness, this non-existence, and we are called forward in love. You know, one of the things I'm dealing with now is, in, in my heart's in a good place, I wrote a blog post about these sort of things, but I've made this known to some of the brothers that one of the things my heart and mind's doing on is, I don't want to look weak in front of the brothers. I'm 35. I'm a young man. I don't want to appear weak. I want to appear vulnerable. You know, I want to appear one in need. I want to be able to get out there and get business done. I want to be uh, go out there and get things done. And within those words, when I speak them verbally out loud, even if it's only to myself in the room, they, the foolishness comes right to the top. You know, but particularly when I voice them to some brothers, you know, they sort of smack me with their own words and tell me to get over myself. You know, even wounded, you know, they tell me to get over myself because... In that nothingness, you know, we still have that ability to say yes or no to God's love. You know, we still are invited into a relationship with God, even though he's the one that, quote unquote, seems to have all the power and et cetera. We still can say yes or no, you know, in this beautiful dance that we can engage in. If we're willing to be vulnerable to he who has called us out of nothingness, who has created us out of nothingness in love and, and humiliation and humility play key roles in, in the understanding of that so we can remain open to that. You know, like I have no anger against God right now about what's happening to me. I made certain choices in my life. I went to serve overseas in Africa, and I'm a better man for that. The people of the Gambia have made me a better person. They've drew out of me the the virtues and, and the gifts that, that were sort of just laying, not even at peace, just laying there forgotten about. But they helped to bring it out. Now, within that, that choice I made in that life I was cultivating, I, I was injured, and over the years... And, and lifestyles that I've had over the years because of that injury, you know, and paying the piper. I've made choices, and if there's anyone should be mad at, I should be mad at myself, but I'm not even mad at myself for that. You know, I know the future is not going to be the easiest thing. Being an amputee is not a fun thing. It's not an easy thing. But it's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean I'm any less than who I am. It doesn't mean that I'm any less a person. It doesn't mean I'm any less loved. It doesn't mean I'm any less worthy. It doesn't mean I'm any less a priest. It doesn't mean I'm any less anything. It just means things are different. And differences doesn't mean an inequality, doesn't mean a lessening, doesn't mean, you know, an, 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 uh, something's not as good as what it once was. You know, and this is where faith really hits the road. You know, this blind faith, like, why oh, enter into this nothingness, et cetera, no, no. I know God has me right now. And even though I may, know, I may not know what tomorrow brings, I know he who is bringing me into tomorrow. And in that trust where I put myself into his hands, even though I may not know his plans for tomorrow, my faith allows me to trust in he who brings me into that time, as he just allows me to rest in today and rejoice over what has been my yesterdays. So, you know, I'm sort of all over the place and, and, and et cetera, uh, but I really wanted to share that reflection for humiliation uh, that uh, Father Gabriel has brought forward. Um, it's one of those things where the Spirit just gives you what you need at the moment when you need it. And uh, he's been doing a lot of that, the Holy Spirit has. And, uh, you know, I'm smiling because it's coming from a, I got peace. I just have this peace in my heart. And uh, even though this, there's fear and there's anxiety and there's trepidation, there's all these other things, in comparison to this peace that the <clears throat> Spirit provides, like a drop, <clears throat> a drop in the bucket, so I'm getting a little choked up. Um, I just got a lot of gratitude in my heart, too, for all the warmth and the prayers that people have given me and the kindness. And, and, and I can't reply to them all, but, uh, you know, this is, I also hope, a little way of saying thank you to those people. So, my brothers and sisters, you know, I know you're praying for me, and I thank you very much for that. And, and uh, you know, I hope to not lose any of my frankness. <laughs> but, uh, you know, things are going to be a little bit different. Obviously, there's going to be some interruptions with some of my other posting and things like that. But, uh, my good, I got a good team, and, uh, you know, I have no fear. This peace has really driven out that fear that uh, was initially in my heart. So know that I'm with you. Know that I'm praying for you. And may God continue to bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you. Know that I'll be praying for you.